Now, the James Bond franchise has long been problematic, and as preparations were already underway for the 26th instalment, director Danny Boyle dropped out, leaving the field wide open for a replacement. Many Bond fans were dubious about the choice of veteran German director Werner Herzog to take the reins. Let's take a look. James is a predatory male, bereft of empathy, riddled with tumorous and impotent. After being confronted at a family dinner about incest, he is unable to remain at MI5 and goes into the wilderness to try to find himself in a golden eagle sanctuary. As Bond, Christoph von Überflügen had a complete nervous breakdown during filming and he tried to kill me. In the final scene, confronted by the futility of his existence, James invites the eagles to peck his eyes out. We see him completely alone and blind, trying unsuccessfully to find one of his cheeky trademark puns. Now, the idea of two oddballs from different sides of the track living together is a well-drilled-into trope, but this year's Al Jazeera hit, Who Ate My Hummus, is a deeply affecting tale of an Israeli and Palestinian trying to come to terms with each other as their apartment block is dismantled by the Israeli Defence Forces. Here's a clip. Why did you eat my hummus? I didn't recognize its right to exist. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm building a partition. It will make life more comfortable for us. How will I get to the bathroom? You'll think of something. <laughs> Now, documentary maker Louis Theroux has always been drawn to the darker side of life, but in his latest series, he manages to go further than ever before. Let's take a look. I'm here in Hitler's bunker in the last days of the Second World War to meet the leader of the Nazi party, Adolf Hitler. Heil Hitler! How's it going? I'd never met the most hated man in history before, but I hoped we'd get along. If the word buildings roman means nothing to you, take a look at this. Here we are in London's Leicester Square, and we're lucky enough to be talking to the Bridge of Spies actor, Mark Rylance. Mark. Humpty Dumpty. Mark. Are they great for? Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Mark. Uh, so you've been nominated for an Oscar. What? what what's an Oscar? <laughs> in, in an Academy Award, the, the golden statue for great actors. Oh, no. You don't seem too happy about that. Oh no, no, that that I oh I I don't know what to think of that. I, I, they probably just gave it to me because there, there was no one else to give it to. The, what about all the other nominees, the likes of Tom Hardy and Tom Hardy? Oh, he's he's a wonderful actor. He 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 should get it. Um, Sylvester Stallone, Christian Bale. Oh, the, 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 what, Rocky Balboa. That, that, that's ridiculous. What am I doing up there with those guys? I, I'm just a, a humble actor who loves to, to dress up and play. Yeah. <laughs> um, people say that you're one of the finest English actors of our generation. Oh, no, 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 please don't don't say that. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just a small boy. But no, Mark, you've, you've been artistic director of the Globe. You're, you're no. now a Hollywood star. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just a small, small boy. You appear opposite but, Tom Hanks. Mm, mm, mm. Absolutely astonishing. And now take a look at this. 